Welcome to the Intel FPGA online training presentation, EC Pre Intel FPGA IP, Customizing the IP. My name is Marlon Price and I'll be the presenter. This training is the third and final in a series of courses designed to help you become familiar with Intel FPGA's IP solution targeting the EC Pre protocol. By the end of this course, you'll be able to customize the EC Pre IP for your specific front hall application. You'll also be able to generate a complete design example based on your customization to perform various tests with the IP. We will begin with the section on how to configure the EC Pre IP. Here we'll talk about the parameters that make up the IP core. Then we'll finish with a section on the steps to generating the design example and how you can then run it in simulation and in hardware. Like the other trainings in the series, this training assumes that you have a good understanding of the EC Pre protocol as again we won't have any time to go into these types of details. The course also assumes you're familiar with the Intel Cordis Prime Pro software tool suite and how its design flow works when targeting FPGAs. And again, while it's not necessary, a good understanding of the Intel FPGA architecture is also helpful. If you have further questions on the 3GPP or EC Pre spec, here are some links to resources. This includes links to the EC Pre Intel FPGA IP user guide and the design example user guide. So let's start with configuring the IP. The EC Pre IP parameter editor is the tool within the Cordis software that lets you customize an instance for your design using all of the configurable options available in the IP. The parameter editor is found in the IP catalog in both the Intel Cordis Prime Pro software and Platform Designer. Located under Interface Protocols and then EC Pre, or you can just type EC Pre in the search field at the top. Double click to open the parameter editor. All configurable options currently available for customizing your IP instance are found on the general tab in the GUI. At the top, select the transceiver tile to which you plan to connect the IP. This is grayed out for the Intel ARIA 10 family since it does not use tiles. Next, you can see the primary bus width. It is fixed at 64 bits. Further down, you can indicate measurement type for EC Pre Message 5 delay measurement either off, one step, or two step. Below the FIFO depth settings is an option to enable advanced mapping mode. Enabled, it allows mapping of MAC addresses and VLAN tags to the EC Pre physical channel or PC ID. Below that, you can see the option to enable pairing with an ORAN IP core. This enables an extra interface as mentioned in the prior architectures and interfaces training. At the bottom of the screen capture, there's a streaming option. It is grayed out because pair with ORAN is enabled. Enabling streaming lets you control the maximum Ethernet frame size. Off sets the max frame size to 1500 bytes. On sets the max frame size to 9000 bytes. Continuing down the tab, you can see the option to enable IWF Type 0 support. Since currently only Type 0 and a single CPRE MAC are supported, the two fields following this are fixed. You can also indicate the CPRE planned line rate for your CPRE interface. Finally, at the very bottom, here is where you can set up the eight default MAC addresses. This pre-programs the MAC address CSRs so you can change them dynamically later if you wish. The MAC addresses are grayed out here as well because ORAN IP support is enabled. If you have any questions on any of the fields in the parameter editor and you want to quickly look up the meaning, the details tab to the right is a great resource for a quick reminder. Of course, this information and more is also found in the user guide. Once you have completed setting the parameters for your instance, 
then generate the IP, instantiate it in your design, and compile the same flow used in all Intel FPGA IP. If you're not aware, the Show Instantiation Template option in the Generate menu gives you an instantiation template you can just copy and paste into your source files. If you need to modify your settings, just open the .IP file created by the parameter editor in which the settings are stored. Note that if you're building the system using the Platform Designer tool, then the EC Pre IP GUI is the same, but once you finish customizing, the IP will get connected within the Platform Designer UI. You also do not need to generate, as the IP files will be generated along with the rest of the Platform Designer system. Now we'll look at how to create a design example. The EC Pre Intel FPGA IP Parameter Editor can create a complete design example for you. The design example is created using the very parameters that you set in the editor window. It provides a great example of how the IP core can be connected in your own design. A block diagram of the design example created when targeting an Intel Agilex F-Series device is shown here in the screen capture. The design example is also fully functioning. It comes with a test bench wrapper that you can use in your favorite simulator to verify the core's behavior. It comes with the files necessary to target select Intel FPGA development kits. This way you can see the IP core functioning in hardware. Using the compiled results of the design example, you can also get very helpful resource usage and performance information on the IP core. Looking at the diagram, let's go over a few features we see here. The EC Pre Intel FPGA IP core is shown in gold. The eTile hard IP for Ethernet to which it connects is shown to its right in yellow. Test pattern generation contained within the test wrapper block is shown in light purple in the middle. The IWF Type 0 block is in gold and the CPRE Intel FPGA IP block in turquoise are shown on the left side of the diagram. Of course, they are only added if IWF Type 0 support is enabled during parameterization. Outside of those, we can see a PTP PLL an EC Pre IO PLL, and additional subsystems, bridges, and interface logic needed for design example operation. The design example can also be enabled with multi channel operation for up to four channels. Note if you do target an Intel Stratix 10 or Intel ARIA 10 FPGA, you will see slight changes to the circuit diagram. These are shown in the Design Example User Guide. To create the design example, in the Parameter Editor, go to the Design Example tab. There you can specify if you want a design for synthesis only, simulation only, or both. Select the target design language, either Verilog or VHDL. Then select the development kit and the number of channels you want to test, again up to four. Choosing a development kit means the design example will be generated with the right target device, device pins, and any other necessary hardware constraints set for you. If you select none, you'll still get the design example, but you must manually assign pins and set any of those other constraints. Once generated, the design example can be used in several ways. You can run a simulation to review its behavior. Simulator setup scripts are provided for popular FPGA simulation tools. You can compile the complete design example and then use the Quartus software's compilation report and timing analyzer to check its implementation, its layout within the FPGA and tiles, the area consumed, and timing performance. Then you can program the FPGA development kit with the compiled design. System console scripts are provided so you can perform various in-system hardware tests. Please see the design example user guide for more details and instructions on performing these tasks. This concludes our look at customizing the EC Pre-IP.
After viewing this training, you should be able to use the Parameter Editor tool to customize your implementation of the ECPRE Intel FPGA IP. You should also be able to generate an example design to test your customization in simulation and in hardware as well as view the results of its compilation. All of this greatly accelerating the development of your own application when using this IP. Intel provides multiple avenues in which to learn about Intel FPGA products. There's the Intel FPGA YouTube channel which contains five minute quick videos along with longer more in-depth training videos. There's the Intel FPGA training website where you can access e-learning courses made up of narrated slides presented in an interactive player, some courses even with labs and demos. Lastly, you can enroll in a live instructor-led course presented either in person at an office local to you or virtually over the web. All instructor-led courses have hands-on lab exercises to practice the concepts you learn. If you need more assistance, Intel FPGA provides many self-help resources for you to access. For example, there are web pages called landing pages dedicated to specific FPGA technology like external memory interfaces and high-speed protocol interfaces. You can also view and post questions to the community forum, which is monitored by skilled Intel FPGA applications engineers. The Intel FPGA training team is always looking to improve our material and we welcome any feedback that you may have. Please email fpgatraining at intel.com with any of your thoughts or comments. This concludes the training. Again, my name is Marlon Price. Thank you for attending and have a good day.